Doug Parnsey of the United States puts it in play, and here we go. And a quick kill for Kanji. The Brazilians only go by one name. In their own country, we'll try and do that ourselves. Uh, that's the way they prefer to be called. Sam Wells, his given name, but he goes by Kanji. He's up at that jump serve. And Timmons with the kill. Steve Timmons, he's had a couple of weeks off. It's good to see his first swing through the block. Timmons looking to make it three in a row when he goes to Barcelona with three gold medals, 84, 88, and hopefully for Timmons, 92. Well, Partey and Timmons did not make the trip to CIS or to Holland, so they'll be a little rusty to start out. Carlone serving for Brazil. Still no score. Short set to Ivy. by Stavartman. Good by Mauricio. Carlone is blocked. Still alive. Giovanni is done by Partee. Great rally. Simmons got it. Side out, United States. Great start for the U.S. team. Three good blocks. Good digs in the back row. That's what they have to do against Brazil. Keep the ball in play. Welcome to playoff volleyball in the World League. Great set by Mauricio. They run a very quick offense. Palon, the setter, Palon Silva, runs a very quick offense, releases the ball quickly to his outside and middle attackers. De Bruyne is a heavy hitter. Ivy able to jam it off the block. Kirk, how much of a feeling out process is there early when you have two big teams like this? Well, these teams have not seen each other in quite a while, so I think there'll be a lot of uh, give and take it early in the match to see how they play. Giovanni with the put away, nice set again. Very quick shoot sets to the outside. Only 22 years of age, and he's the veteran. Joined the team three years ago. We're still scoreless. A quick attack by Doug Partee. That's good for Doug Partee. He told me he felt real rusty for the match. He had only practiced for two days now before this match. Good to see him put that first ball down. Who will score first? Now the Americans give it right back to the Brazilians on the stork service here. This is a best three out of five. And remember, Polon and the Brazilians need to sweep two in the States. There's an overpass. And it was hit out wide. Carlon missed an easy one. Still scoring. Excellent effort by Mauricio. He wins the joust. Scott Fortune arguing that his hand hit it last. After the block blocked it, he's saying the center pushed it out of bounds. Take a look who hits it last. We get a good look at it. Who hits it last? I don't know. May have been a bad call, but very tight. Partee straight down. Best quick hitter on the U.S. team, Doug Partee. Double quick, front one, back one. Doug Gordon oh. takes the back one. Played on four national championships at UCLA for Al Skates. Back set, and Giovanni comes through. A lot of heavy hitters on this team. Well, they have very quick arm swings. They jump fast, swing fast, a lot of heat. We may be here a couple nights. We haven't had a point scored yet. There will be a lot of side outs in this match. Anji with the jump serve. And Stavartlik with a great hit. How many side outs? Why is this happening, Kirk? Well, good passing. All the hitters are up cranking away. 13 straight side outs. It's happening because there's two good teams and they're both putting the ball away. Good hit. And the Braun puts one down. 31 set. That's a set away from the setter. Quick set. Puts it over the block. Carlone serves. Still no score. There's a block for a point. McGron with help from Pallone. 
Well, it's a trap set. Great save by Stork. He gets it up. Bump set by Fortune. It's trapped. He comes inside. Stuck. Carlon serves it into the net. It's 1-0 Brazil. And Bob Stavardley puts it in play for the United States. Run down by Carl Lowe. And McGron with a big time hit. Well, Number great, one is powerful. Great back set by Palau. He's running straight ahead. Sets it 30 feet behind his head. Outside to McGron, right on the line. Good call. And McGron to serve into the net. Now, Brazilian tradition says they're all going to jump serve. It's just a way of life in Brazil. If the Americans can tie it. And Carlone out of the back row. All the teams in the world running quick attacks out of the back row. That's what we saw to Carlone that time. A great faking by the United States. Fortune missed his shot, but they ran the play well. Well, ran the great second option. No block up. Scott Fortune just hit it wide down the line. Two nothing Brazil. Timmons didn't like that set, so he just tapped it over. A chance for Brazil. And it's off the block on the miss hit by Giovanni. Miss hit ball bounced off the tape on Scott Fortune's shoulder. Bad break. Three nothing. The Brazilians lead. And another service error. Steve Three Timmons. already for Brazil. Steve Timmons on that deep set. His timing's bound to be off a little, Randy. Hasn't played in a couple weeks. That will hurt him. And if you've been with us throughout the world, you know the Americans are historically a slow starting team. Hit long by Negron. Point United States. We'll see Negron time and time again hitting. That time he hit it long. They'll still go. Now the American cheers come cascading down at the San Diego Sports Arena. And Pallone delivers. Pallone Silva, if you will. High over the block that time. He's an 88 Olympian. Roof. Carlone, Lima, and Tanji all there. It's 4-1 Brazil. They run the second option to Scott Fortune. Takes the double quick. Here he comes. The blocker's not fooled. They're right on top of the ball. Brazil coming off two big wins over Cuba. Their fourth service error of game one. They will make a lot of service errors. They serve tough. They go for the jumper. They go for the ace. They'll miss a lot of serves. Scott Fortune, the American captain. A little weary from all the road trips. He's been a trooper. The United States national team for a long time. McGrath with another kill. They have to try and get two blockers up. Even though he's a back row attacker, they're running four hitters in that situation. They have to try and get two up on the groin. He's been a celebrity in Brazil for a long time. He's been with the team since he's been 19. He's been doing commercials there for three years. Anji, Ruth, Timmons, and Cartoon. The most, ex most experienced block the U.S. can put up right here. Timmons, Cartoon. Look at Timmons. He cocked his arm, put it over the net. Great block. Back set. And a great hit by Giovanni. Took, took a little bit off at that time, went into the corner. Nice control. Four kills for Giovanni. Thank you, will sir. You have to be impressed with Brazil to this point. And Timmons drills one. A little facial block that time. That's what's in the stands. Over your shoulder. Nice dig there, Rand. Yeah. Quicker than I used to be. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, I've shed a few pounds over the years. Quick one to McGraw in the middle, and the Americans dig him. Stork sets Ivy. It's off the block. Boy, nice play by Stork. Everybody in the world looks for Stork to hit that first ball when he's in the front row. He jumps up, takes the hit, goes to the middle hitter. The ball goes down. Two serving four in a very emotional first game. Another chance for the United States. Number nine of Brazil, Carlone. Point 
United States go within one. Giovanni hit that one very long. Well, that's a good old-fashioned wall ball. That ball is almost out of the arena. The playing area, that thing really sailed. Giovanni was first team in the Italian League. We're even at four. Speed works once again for Giovanni. Something the U.S. team has to feel good about. The Brazilians not passing serve very well right now, and that's how you get them in trouble. They're not a great high ball hitting team. And again a net violation on the ground. The ground a little bit anxious, trying to get over the net on that set. Netted as he followed through. Tied at four. First game. United States trying to snap a two-game losing streak in the playoffs. Both to Holland. Run down by Stuart Mullen. Here comes Timmons. There he is. Tremendous shot by Timmons. The U.S. leads 5-4. In game one, this figures to be a great one between the U.S. and Brazil. That was this Brazilian team taking over for Bebeto. Well, he's done a great job. They're, they're running the fast attack. But Beto, somewhat of a national hero in Brazil. Hard to follow in his footsteps. Doing a great job. Here's the big stat so far, Randy. Service errors. Four for Brazil, two for the U.S. U.S. now starting to get in a roll. Tipped over the net. Kept alive by Stavrila. Giovanni with the bomb. Six kills for number three, Giovanni. Oh, what a great arm swing. Goes up and just snaps over the top of the ball. Timmons out of the back row, coming from the middle. Seeing a little more of the U.S. offense this time. Running three hitters in the front, along with Timmons, coming out of the back row, and Ivy also. Well, they're going to him, and he's answering every time, Giovanni. Well, a great spring in his legs. He really gets off the ground, snaps with his arm. Impressive 21-year-old, I'll tell you. Kind of a mixed ground tonight, Kirk. You get the feeling with the Brazilians here, their team's fired up. Great hit by Fortune. I'm going to carry that thought. Brazil always carries a crowd with them. Everywhere in the world they go, crowd's very intense and what that does is fire up the san diego crowd here another look at that great hit out of the back row goes up nobody blocks he finds the seam in the diggers stark and the americans leading by one here comes Hanji with the deep oh what a great effort to go over the block well scott fortune pulled his arms down big mistake that time hitter if the ball's on any part of the net on his side he can attack the ball a lot of weapons for both these teams offensive fireworks Well, this U.S. team not hurting for weapons either. Seeing, I think, what I think will be the starting team in the Olympics right now. That time, Ivy cross court. And Fortune serves it long. Three service errors for the United States. Ivy with a tremendous blast, the field goal spike. The thing I like best about that hit by Ivy, hung in the air a long time out of the back row and hit that ball through the block. Nice control. Remains 5-4, and again, the teams are signing out. And Tanji with the kill. Alexandre Samuel, better known as Tanji. is a hot commodity. Well, he's a great player now. He really is a class and a national player. There's the 31 set again away from the setter, and that's what goes through the block. Five kills for Brian Ivy. And Negron answers. You had to expect that quick set. They've been going outside to their shoot sets. Every once in a while, that setter will pull it back into the middle. Carlone will serve. He had 13 blocks in a match in the World League in 1990, so he's not just a hitter number nine. This time, Timmons hit the antenna. 
point for Brazil. We're deadlocked at five. Well, uh, Brazil unquestionably will be a factor in Barcelona. Well, I think definitely the dark horse team in the Olympics. Nobody talks much about them. They're definitely a contender. A lift on Ivy. Point Brazil. 6-5. The reaction of Steve Timmons. There's the service there. Side out to the U.S. They're down by one. Kirk, I know you don't believe there's going to be a lot of substitutes tonight because these teams are getting prepared for the Olympics. Well, they have to get their starting teams out there a little more. I know Scott Fortune's feeling pretty sore. They may try and give him somewhat of a break if they can. Steve Timmons and Doug Partey really haven't played a whole lot of matches lately, so we'll see how the substitution pattern goes. Some of a quandary. Money, playoffs, in fact, or a big match in the world. We get the Barcelona Olympics right around the corner. How do you handle that? Well, I think you try and do both. You hope to win the first match. Then you can uh, do a little more mixing. Ball hit outside the antenna by Ivy, so another point for Brazil. But I think you do both. You, you want to be ready for the Olympics, but you also want to win the World League. Goodbye. Number five, Cologne off the tremendous serve by Negron, 8-5. Here, here's so much about a two-man passing. There's a three-man passing rotation. Ball passed over by Timmons, put away. Usually teams, Randy, what they do with that three-man pass, two-man pass receive, against the top spin jump serve, they go to three passers. You see an extra passer in there to help cover ground. Brazil with six service there. Stavrlin. Oh, what a play by Stavrlin. In the middle, Cologne kills it. Great effort by Forza and Stavrlin. They get the ball up, then collide. They're both okay. They come back out of the beams, but as usual happens, quick set by Brazil, put it away, but great effort. Brazil has never won a gold medal in any team sport. This team has the talent to threaten. Hanji with the deep. Just off what we see early, Kirk, this is a very talented team. Well, we knew that coming in. I don't think it's a big surprise. They took, took two matches from Cuba. Cuba ranked number two in the world. So right now, Brazil's on a hot streak. And Scott Fortune drills that one off of Carlone. Americans back by four. Going in the best blocking rotation right now for the USA. Horton had served tough, so the block can do its job. Hanji is ripped by Fortune. Set yeah. that rotation. It's important for Stork to serve tough, but in good blocking again. Fortune and Parti. The quick attack. And again. Cologne drills it for his sixth kill. They're dancing in the aisles at the San Diego Sports Arena. And Parti off the block. Doug Parti, four for four in his chances in the middle so far, doing a nice job with a quick attack. Not spectacular, but consistent, Doug Parti. And Fortune hits it into the net. Two service mistakes in a row by Fred Sturm's team. Brain trust John Cook, Gary Sato right next to Fred Sturm. You could feel that one. Well, a great set by Stork. He hung the block out to dry. Left the digger all alone in the back. He's not going to get Timmons. 9 6 Brazil. Game one. And Kanji delivers. Kanji to the jumper. Well, their service there. Brazil would be in great shape if they were keeping the service. Well, definitely they're keeping the U.S. in the game right now with the service errors. Otherwise, they'd be in trouble. You know, the passing isn't that great, but their hitting is so sensational they make up for it. Well, that's really surprising because they're not a great high ball hitting team. The setter's getting there. He's getting the ball to the hitters in good position for them to get a good swing. You're right, they're not passing well. Mauricio's an excellent setter. 
for this game from Brazil. So Bertland able to get just enough of that to pull Tanji. You're exactly right. That ball died on him. He barely got his hand on it. Ball went over the net and down. An intense first game in San Diego. Number five, Pallone, having a big first game for the Brazilians. Seven kills for the middle hitter. Fortune able to drive it off the block. You know, Rene, if I had to see Scott Fortune do right there, find hands, tool the block, not try and overpower. Look for hands and go out of bounds. Scott Fortune from Stanford. They played for Fred Stern, the Americans' current head coach. Giovanni! Oh, what lift! Well, right now, you have to sort of take a look at Giovanni. They're going to him a lot. Great jump, and he just goes by Partee like he's not there. Look at the lift he gets. Goes right by him. Great attack. Brazil. They've opened up a 10-6 lead in the first game of this World League playoff match. It's 10-6 with Kirk Kilgore, I'm Randy Rosenblum. What's well, the outside hitters? 14-7. They're doing it outside, Randy, without a doubt. Good quick hitting on the outside. Americans timing off. Hanji just brilliantly by Ivy. Timmons with the deep. Fortune! Kirk, the Americans have started slowly. We talked about it earlier. Can you put your finger on that, why that's happening? Well, because they change lineups so often. We really haven't seen the same lineup any two nights in a row. You keep changing personnel. It takes a while to get used to who's next to you. There's an ace. Stork hit the back line. We wanted that. Again, here's a good score point scoring rotation for the U.S. Stork serving, Fortune, Partee, and Timmons in the front row. Timmons seems to be a little bit off with his uh, handling with his setter, Stork. Uh, one guy who's not off is Pallone. He's having a huge first game. And Partee able to chisel it with a block of Tanji. Good good play selection by Jeff Stork. He's going to the middle when he has a chance. It's up. Ball comes down inside the block. They never got their hands over. And McGraw with an absolute bomb. Well, no doubt their outside hitting is superb. They have guys that swing away every time. They just keep swinging at you. Good jumpers, Randy. These guys really get off the ground. And McGraw, if you look at his upper body, he's strong. Stavartman is worked by Negron with help from Carlone. Point Brazil, 11-7. He is the idol of many in Brazil. Ivy with the tip. Nice play by Ivy. Goes a little off-speed tip top spin shot over the block and through. Nice play. Eric Sato. Thank you, Eric Sato. When Stereo comes in. Partey gets a breather. Sato in. Excellent back row specialist. We might add, this is the American team that will represent the United States in Barcelona. This is the roster that they've submitted. We should tell you that Acosta did not make the squad. And Gaspar, probably the two biggest names, along with Dan Hannon, who did not make the cut. Another service error. Brasenio is on the team. Carlos Brasenio from the University of Hawaii. And Nick Becker from along USC. With, along with Brent Hilliard from Long Beach. So tonight, a nice squad. It's uh, sort of what I like, the team I like. Giovanni Kaboom! Ten first game kills for Giovanni. Watch him snap over the top of this ball. Boom! Straight down about the three meter line. That is power. That was better timing that time that Steve Timmons wants to drift into that set. 
He's had some trouble with his timing when he and Stort. Good to see that kill right there. Simmons not shy about communicating with his teammates, or to say the least. That's one thing I really like about Steve Timmons. He wants to win very, very badly. Uh, if this match stretches out over a long period of time, Giovanni may put up a number that's unbelievable. And the ground had 44 kills. He's on his way right now, I'll tell you. That was a five-game match. They're only in game one. Martin returns to Masada. Moves into the front row with Fortune. Ivy will serve for the United States down 7-11 in a very lengthy first game by Ace driving. Stork had one. Ivy now with an ace. Brian Ivy, very good floater serve. He does have a top spin jumper. We haven't seen it in at least a year now. LeBron. Well, the unsung hero must be the setter, Mauricio. He's really spreading it around. Well, I'm not sure he's unsung. He, he's recognized one of the top setters in the world. Does a great job, Mauricio Lima. You want his full name? <laughs> Not that we're just familiar with these teams, Randy. They prefer to go by that one man. Fortune invigorated in this first game, playing very well. Scott Fortune said he was tired after the long road trip. He's really been there every match, his whole world league. Carl Lone thanks it. Point United States. That's the chink in the team. I think it's the Brazilian team that I've seen so far. First time we've seen them this year, but looks like their passing is very suspect. Same problem with the Commonwealth of Independent States. Another breakdown. The Americans to within one. And for Gamaris on the sideline, he can only wonder, but a service error? Well, three USA players ran right to him, said that ball was in all the way. My angle, Randy, I couldn't see it. It was uh, three players in front of me. I don't know if you had a shot at it. It was close. No yellow card. Here comes Ivan. The ground. Well, he pulled up his left ankle. He came down real hard on that ankle, sort of jammed it. Looked like he stoved it. He is moving his ankle around with his hand, but he'll stay in there right now. Rizzo could not afford to lose him, I guarantee you. Carlone in the middle with a quick attack. We'll have, we'll have to watch the ground now. He's in the front row and he was holding that ankle. Let's see if it affects him. Mauricio serve. And that is long. Another service error. Still in the first game for Brazil. And Gamaris about ready to strangle some of his players. The Americans outserving Brazil in game one. Ivy. Another smart hit. Boy, has he gotten smart, I'll tell you. He used to just go up and blast all the time. Now he's moving the ball around, takes something off there, ties the score at 11. U.S. has scored the last four. We're deadlocked at 11. <laughs> He goes to the hard stuff. Ivy is dug. Mauricio with the long set. What a set. Carlone is caught by Ivy. A great set, too. The Americans lead 12-11. Even Gamaras has to appreciate that kind of volleyball. Tremendous stuff in San Diego. Serving the one, they lead 12-11. Lima. Tipped down by Timmons. They're doing it, Randy, with soft blocking. The U.S. blockers are going up, not trying to reach too high. They're soft blocking the ball, and they're digging it in the back row. You're right, Trump. The American taking well at another ace. This one for part two. And the U.S. sitting on game point. First substitution, Pompe in for Negron, who got shaken up. So Negron goes out. At number 12, Pompa is in. Game point, USA. 
and Pompa delivers. Well, that's a gutsy call. A guy comes into the game cold. You go right to him, and he hits it straight down the line, the hardest hit in the game. Wow, what a shot from Pompa. He, he smacked that ball, I'll tell you. This is definitely playoff volleyball. Did it's you exciting, imagine isn't it? this is for the Olympic gold medal? It's exciting, isn't it? They met for the gold medal in 84. The United States swept Brazil in the final. And Carlone comes right back. You hardly feel comfortable with a 14-11 advantage. Well, the way the Brazilians serve, they get a few in. The top spinners, good floater. They are very dangerous. The Americans have scored the last seven. Until now, Brazil finally back on the board at 12, serving 14. So the seven-point run is the next. <laughs> Off the block, Stavertlin, side out U.S. Well, how many times have we said that? Two will play it for Bob Stavertlin. That's his bread and butter. Goes up and for hands. Game point number three for the U.S. and Fred Stern. What a good blocking rotation for the U.S. right here. You stop number five, Pallone. He's doing everything in the middle. Well, actually, they've been going outside so much, you almost have to give them the middle once in a while. That's what the U.S. did then, just went up one-on-one, -on -one, and the middle guy is going to put that away. Pompa with a tremendous serve. A great, scores. great pass that time by Bob Stavertlik. That was a dynamite serve. He just put it right up there. Give Stork the big left-handed kill. Ivy, who has an ace in this first game, serves game point number four. Not what you wanted to do at that juncture. Brazil hanging in after the Americans ran off seven in a row to nearly win the game and still might. Timmons with the kill. Well, I'm amazed Brazil is, is serving Stavrlik. After that point game, they've got three straight serves at Stavrlik. That's not who I would go at when the game's on the line. Number five, so let's see if the Americans can close out here. Kanji is stuck nicely by Skabirdlin. Parti blocked long, game United States. It was very close, just long. At least it was ruled long. The Americans win the game 15-12. Hits the end line, it's nice and slow. Follow it, follow it, follow it. I thought it was in. Oh, yes, yeah, it was in. Ball was in for sure. Good call. It's home court advantage, Randy. Back with game two next on Sports Channel. <laughs> 